Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. But I've mastered that style. It's like the five deadly venoms. All he had to do was get next to a nigga like that and he could destroy it. Even that. We plan to take the same strategy we use with Death Row West, Mind Over Matter, taking all our weaknesses and making it into our strength. That all these people talk about an East Coast, West Coast war, they like the Judas was to Jesus. They only here to cause confusion. We here to bring money and to bring change. They here to cause confusion. All these weak rappers, Nas, all these suckers, they battling off of East and West like this is a game. This ain't no game. If this was chess, we'd be yelling checkmate three years ago because we've been beat these it's not a game. The only way for me to come back is as Ego Veli. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel. If you want to become part of the gang, MOB, hit that bell icon. Now, I had to return to you as Ego Veli. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. <laughs> we riding. Now, I try to keep the peace, and I just did a video about Reagan now. Some people get upset and some people get mad and just know that you're the reason for this follow-up video right now I, I don't have time to address everyone individually I'll just give you a preview of a comment and I told you guys in January it was gonna be problems I said in January y'all gotta be real because all that other bullshit is done it's dead you know what I mean tell the truth tell the truth Y'all don't want to do it. So in the video, I talked about rigging out and the clear HBO bias, the whole decision being overturned and stuff like that. And I don't really care about that. It doesn't rigging now gets paid the same and the money he makes. I don't see a dollar of I, I fight for what's right. I'm a stand up person. And a lot of you guys aren't. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a lot of you guys probably are. But there's there is a, a, a faction of people who they don't care about the truth. They don't care about double standards they don't care if it's if it's not their race if it's not their people if it's not their fighter if it's not someone they like whatever this case is they don't care you know what i mean and i'm gonna stand up for anybody who's who's being treated unjust amongst the masses you know what i mean because i'll do that i don't care like like Pac said that's why it's so raw to see me battling because i'm a little well, I'm not little, but but I'm battling lions. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give you guys a preview of what I'm talking. Some of you, what are you talking about? Ego, get to the goddamn point. Okay, let's go. So this is a comment on the rigging out video I just did. Mario Diaz said, Ego, you are some bullshit talker. Stop playing the fucking race card, right? This is what I tell you guys. So I, I, I believe in something. You don't tell me what I'm saying wrong, right? This is just one of many comments, but a lot of people real always recognizes real. And we're going to get to that in the title of this video, how I'm going to prove what I'm talking about. Right. But this is this is what the detractors do. I'm a bullshit shit talker. If I was a bullshit shit talker, I would just be like Phil Florin and Phil HBO motherfucker. Suck my dick. That's bullshit shit talking with no substance. I'm telling you, giving you examples, analogies and things that were actually said factual information that you can't dispute you can go back and play the tapes and hear the things that i'm that i'm pointing out like jim lampley protesting rigandow getting a knockout victory oh like why do you care that much are you part of moises Flores's camp and this is just more proof of that now i can't take full credit because this was brought to my attention but shout out to yanni who actually hit me to this and let me know what was going on with this situation so and that's what i'm saying man we getting too big the movement is real so you can't you can only hide for so long from the truth you know what i mean this stuff is spreading people i got people all over that let me know what's going on so i i have eyes everywhere i'm not everywhere i can't see everything i i make money on the internet i do my thing and i get off you know what i mean so i don't get the chance to see everything but i do see a lot right i see a lot and at the end of the day you can't stop. You can't stop what's real. The truth always comes to light. And we're going to show you the HBO bias. Now, again, shout out to Yanni for hipping me to this. And also shout out to Big D Boxing Page, right? The link is in the description. I want him to get full credit. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's trying to promote. He's trying to do his thing. And he has a video with Sam Watson, which we're going to play the clip. 
right? He was at the Ward Kovalev 2 fight, right? And they were preparing for the weigh-ins. And this Big D boxing page, he just, he's interviewing with them and just like mingling, you know what I mean? Brushing shoulders and elbows, trying to get some footage. Cool, you know what I mean? I respect the grind. Salute to you. And he captures something. And I don't know the circumstance, but let's just play the clip. Get out, get out. Get out. Huh? <laughs> we got Flores. Flores fighting Rigondeaux. Right. And I don't know what the, right. the chance is. That's why this way. How about him? That's, that's my brother. That's my brother right here. <laughs> hey, so who you think gonna win? I mean, it's gonna be good. Rigondeaux's supposed to win, right? Rigondeaux. Rigondeaux don't lose, huh? Yeah, but Rigondeaux's horrible. You ever seen him? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. No cool man. Hey, Bob, how you doing? You know? Huh? Yeah, but Rick and that's horrible. You ever seen him? Oh my god. Rick and that's horrible. Rick and that's horrible. Now, I told you, this this wasn't going to be the year for a lot of y'all people. Y'all try to go against and, and create resistance and say everything that I say is false. Explain that. You have HBO's unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman, who just told you on tape, they said, whoa, Guillermo Rigondeaux. Rigondeaux's horrible. He didn't just say it once. He said it again. Rigondeaux, he's horrible. Right? Rigondeaux's horrible. He's horrible. Right? Then he goes on to say, oh, is Moises Flores your guy? Because Sam Watson, obviously, he's affiliated with Al Heyman. So he's basically saying, is, is Moises, Chucky Flores, is he an Al Heyman fighter? And Sam Watson, it sounds like he replied, said, yeah, he's advised by Al Heyman. And he's like, good. I want him to knock. I want him to knock Rigondeaux out. So let me get this straight. Y'all just said that it was me. This was Ego Valley. I'm just making it up, right? I'm just playing the race card. There's no HBO bias. Everyone's biased, all this and that. And you have HBO's unofficial score who is on tape telling you what I'm telling you. Dispute that. What are you going to say to it? How can you dispute that when you see the man on tape saying he's horrible? He's horrible. I hope he gets knocked out, right? Now me, I do this. This is, this is freelance. I don't work for ESPN. I don't work for Showtime. I don't work for HBO. I work for EGO, Ego, Google, YouTube. You know what I mean? That's, that's how I get my ends. So just like a podcast, I have a lot of creative control and freedom. I can break down fights. I can say, oh, seven reasons I think this person will win. There's no love lost. It's not nothing against the fighters personally, but I could do those things. But when you have... A, a network like HBO someone as big as HBO it's kind of your duty to call the fights fair right and I'm not saying I don't call the fights fair but I'm just saying there's a different level of creative control right and even though I have this ability and creative control to do whatever and say whatever I want on my on my network right because HBO is not cutting me a check there ain't no video out here all that bullshit all the fighters y'all say I hate Whoever it is, I've, I've heard I hate every fighter. Some people say I hate black fighters. Some people say I only love black fighters, whatever. So Lomachenko, Triple G, uh, Canelo, whoever you think I hate, there's no video on there or no video of me that you'll find where I'm like, this guy's horrible, horrible. I hope he gets knocked out. He's He sucks, you know what I mean? And then pretty much saying the same thing on tape, right? What part of the game is that? You gotta look at it. Why would, you're the unofficial scorer, AKA the person, we, we're looking at your scorecards to the fight, right? So you're supposed to call what you see. You're letting the public know before the fight. This is the way in, mind you. You're letting the public know beforehand that you don't give a fuck. You already, know, you already in your heart of all hearts, you already have it made up that Rigondeaux, is, he just, he's not good and he's horrible, right? You told the people. So why am I going to believe your scorecard? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Why Why would you challenge or why would you believe in something when they just told you how they felt? You know what I mean? Like, let's say I was judging a talent show and I'm like, 
I, I'm like, oh, all these kids are inwards, right? I already told you I'm racist by saying that. So would you really trust me to be a decent, good judge and really award the victory and, and cast my vote according to who I really felt won? It's just like jury duty, the same exact thing. If you have clear cut biases or things that are just like everyone might have some level of a bias. So we know that. But I'm saying if you have if, if the case is about, let's say, an abortion or like a murder or something like that, and you have to find someone guilty and you have these very radical one way and one sided standpoints, then they wouldn't elect you if they figured that out beforehand. They're not going to put you on that jury knowing that you feel so radical about any one way you know what i'm saying you would have to be as moderate as possible you guys get what i'm saying and why can the how come the fans are expected to believe in what harold letterman is saying when he's telling you at the weigh-in before the fight that rigging out is horrible so you just have enough integrity to say that on tape and judge the fight fair no it's it, he was horrible you you wanted him to get knocked out and see, it's just unfortunate. Harold Letterman's from the old school. He's a little bit older, so maybe you don't see this. He don't see this. And I don't know if it was a body cam or whatever. Maybe he thought it wasn't being recorded. I don't know. But this always comes, like you see Mel Gibson. He, he's saying the N-word to his girlfriend and stuff like that. And um, Sterling, Donald Sterling and all this stuff. And I'm not comparing Harold Letterman, what he did to them. But I'm just saying leaked tapes, you never know. You never know if someone's recording the conversation. So you best be on your best behavior. Like it would it would be behoove you to speak with a level of sense. You know you're in the public eye. You don't know who's filming with cell phones and everything that's out. So it doesn't justify even if Letterman didn't know he was being filmed. You were being filmed and the tape's already out of you saying Reagan Dow's horrible multiple times, right? And then saying, I hope he gets knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Well, like crazy and you're the unofficial scorer this is the person who they highlight at the bottom of the screen his scorecard right why would i expect you to to call it fair when you just told me he's horrible you know what i mean you already like let's say let's say i have a yelp account and there's a there's a new pizza place and i i hate it everyone else likes it but i hate it you know what i mean and you go to the look at the reviews and all of them are like three and a half, four star, five star, great ratings. And then you get to mine and you know, I don't like that pizza place for whatever reason. Maybe I had a personal issue with the customer service or whatever, but you personally know that. Are you going to take my review as serious or be like, nah, I'm not going to trust it. I'm going to trust these hundred people that said the pizza is hidden and the pizza is a good, it's a good pizza parlor, right? You're not going to, when you know that I hate this place. You know what I'm saying? I don't like this pizza. I've told you that. You see my name and face pop up, my username, my Yelp account. You're not going to take that into consideration because you know what time it is. You know I don't like that pizza place. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with HBO. They have clear cut favorites and they make it very oh so apparent. And this is just an example of it. So when y'all come at me, make sure you come with the full artillery because I can prove and I can back up everything that I'm saying. And this, this just, I happen to luck out because I didn't even wasn't aware of this clip but i didn't even need this clip to tell you what i said and know that it's the truth you know what i'm saying like i said in january it's not looking good for a lot of you boys you, you this is a grown man game i'm playing chess y'all playing checkers y'all gotta stand up for something y'all gotta y'all gotta start being realistic now if somebody can intelligently explain and i don't want to hear oh he didn't know he was being filmed because it doesn't matter that's like if people are saying racial slurs because they didn't know they were being filmed you you don't that doesn't work like that you know what i mean or Le ray rice punched his girlfriend in the elevator he didn't know he's being filmed that doesn't excuse what happened the tape leaked we seen you hit your girlfriend right i hit lane del ray right in the face twice in broad day like like ray rice in in front of elevator surveillance to the head is banged on the railing to celebrate with the ravens that's a little Eminem. Y'all don't know about that. But it's not looking good for you guys. You know what I mean? Y'all got to wave the white flag. <laughs> Y'all said, don't start a war unless I got my money right. Oh, I got my money right. And I want war. Let me know what y'all think. Explain why the unofficial HBO 
judge whose cards are being shown and highlighted and, and whose opinion is being narrated in the in the audio of HBO telecast how he's able to put these things out there and that doesn't equal anything you know what I'm saying intelligently explain that you have it out for rigging out for whatever reason you don't like him and that influences what you and how you score the round just like I told you guys Chocolatito versus Quadras very competitive fight you could have Chocolatito winning I have no beef with that but to make it like Chocolatito was dominating him like Harold Letterman was making okay Jim Chocolatito nine rounds to one like nine to one really because Chocolatito really started to fade in the second half of the fight you know what I mean? How can you only give him one round when some of those are swing rounds where they really could have went either way just because you already have it in your mind who you want to win. So you just any close rounds or swing rounds, you want Kovalev to win it. So you're going to give it to Kovalev over war because that's who you're rooting for deep down inside. I know how the game goes, man. I've been doing this long enough. And that's what this is all about. You're like, you know what I mean? Just call it fair. If it's a close fight, you do your fighter more of a disservice. But I don't want to hear it's nine rounds to one. You know what I mean? So even if um, that's nine rounds to one, that's ten rounds. So even if, let's say, Quadras won the last two, then you gave him three rounds. And then I look at the post-fight interview, Quadras' face, he, he looks clean. It's not just about the face um, test at the end of the fight. But it doesn't make sense if you're making it sound like Chocolatito dominated majority of the rounds. But his face looks like trash. His, his eyes are swollen shut. You know what I mean? And they look like a like a coin star, a little coin slice. His eyes are like nailed shut. And Quadras looks cool. Doesn't make sense when you're calling the fight like that. So, so now the ball's in your court. You just heard it from Harold Letterman. All the people in that last rigging out video. You guys got 24 hours. 24 hours to respond and explain why HBO's unofficial score, Harold Letterman, before the fight, is telling you stuff. This is before the controversial knockout and all that. But I know you can't. Like Tupac said, I know what I'm doing. I'm destroying them. I'm destroying them. Checkmate. I'm out, Ego Villa. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.